Hi there, my name is Anna Delopo. I'm a licensed acupuncturist and I've been in practice since 1999. My practice is in beautiful Laguna Hills. I practice the Balanced Method Acupuncture by the late Grandmaster Dr. Richard Tefutan. I'm one of his senior students and I'm grateful to have been a Balanced Method practitioner since 2006. So given that this is my 22nd year in practice, I thought I'd share a few things. I know I've made a lot of videos that maybe a few of you have seen but it's now going towards the end of 2021. Um, it's been quite a ride the last couple of years. I'm very grateful to still be in practice. Um, I've uh, inherited um, patients from other practitioners because they either uh, closed their practices um, or they moved away. So um, I'm very grateful that I'm here in Orange County still practicing and I'm five minutes off the Lake Forest exit. Um, I normally have stuff written down, so I'm just saying this off the whim, uh, just off the cuff. And um, hopefully you get a gist why I've been in practice for over two decades. Um, I just felt really compelled to share this video, first of all. Uh, last year, um, and I'll make this sweet, I'll shorten sweet. Um, but I just want to explain on video why I never closed last year during COVID when this all started. Um, because some people have been asking recently how long um, I've been reopened. And uh, I never reopened because I never closed. And that's because when all this was going down during the first lockdown, I knew that as a primary health uh, primary healthcare provider in the state of California, that I have the privilege to see patients. And I was able to treat a lot of people. Um, I was able to treat a lot of people who were um, frontliners, and people who were, you know, pain doesn't care about a pandemic. Um, autoimmune issues do not care about pandemic. Um, cancer, uh, oncology treatments, um, the side effects of oncology treatments, chemo and radiation do not care about um, a pandemic. So um, I just kept practicing. And I remember the day before the first lockdown, my husband and I were eating at Nick's in San Clemente, and he said, that's pretty gutsy of you to stay open. And I said, why is that gutsy? You know, I've done my best to stay open since 1999 and um, not fearful of anything. And I'll just take the, you know, precautionary measures to make sure that everyone here is safe and um, healthy and get healthier as well as for myself, primarily um, not just to take care of my patients, but because I too have a family, three kids. Um, they are now 17, 11 and uh, four. He just turned four a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago. And, um, you know, I want to make sure my family stays alive, healthy, and happy. But, um, so he said, what do you mean that's pretty gutsy of you? Uh, what do you mean? Um, I said to my husband, what do you mean it's gutsy of me to stay open? It's my job. It's my responsibility to my patients who need me. He said, you're not afraid to die. And I said, Andrew, I've been receiving acupuncture and herbs since 1994, as well as supplements. And I've been a chiropractic patient as well since 1994. I just had an adjustment by my doctor uh, three days ago. Um, I do uh, different types of healing therapy. I get massage therapy. I really do a lot of self-care. Um, uh, not only am I a massage therapist in my realm of, in the scope of my practice, I've also been a holistic health practitioner as of 1996. Um, I give massages and I receive massages. Uh, so, you know, this is my life. Taking care of my health is my life. And I said to him, if I'm going to die, then this pandemic is what's going to kill me. And he didn't understand. And I said, Andrew, if I die, this was talking about last year, from this disease, then I should die because that means none of this works. So I'm not gonna sit here and make any claims that anyone might consider to be false, but I do claim that I have a very strong immune system based on having practiced on myself Chinese medicine. And I keep, you keep hearing me, uh, if you pay attention to any of my marketing, I'm always saying the powers of Chinese medicine, the powers of Chinese medicine. When the beaches were closed, um, statewide, uh, in California. I taught Qigong in front of my camera here in my office by myself. They're still on my website. They're still on my uh, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. Um, you can find them. They're kind of funny. They're probably silly, but I knew that people were probably just sitting on the couch. 
Um, I know because my gym was closed for a hot minute. So I would, you know, teach some Qigong here in my office that was either live Zoomed or live Facebook, and they're saved on my website. So I have done everything I could for myself to stay healthy, taking herbs, doing acupuncture, doing Qigong, and as soon as the beach is opened again, I offer Qigong at the beach. Everyone was socially distanced. Some people are wearing masks, some people aren't. But um, I've stayed true to practicing Chinese medicine during probably one of the t toughest times of the century. Um, I was born in the 70s, early 70s, so I think I've seen a little bit, but this is, uh, I don't think I've ever lived. I don't think I've ever lived through a pandemic. And um, I wasn't going to let other people down. I wasn't going to let any of my patients down. So, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a little emotional right now, but I just want to let you know that Chinese medicine is a very profound way to stay very healthy. Um... I'm getting a little emotional because I know a lot of people haven't survived. And um, this is just a way to contribute. It's not just to make money for my family, but to just keep perpetuating this, in my opinion, this honest truth that Chinese medicine is extremely powerful. And um, I'm very sorry for those who are no longer with us. And I'm very sorry for those who um, have gotten sick. I believe I had uh, gotten it um, uh, January 2020, which, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. But I recovered and um, I got even stronger after that. So again, you know, I didn't have any tests to see if I was positive or not. But looking back, my husband and I are pretty, uh, we believe that it was probably COVID that I had. So since then, I just made sure that I was on top of my health. And um, I'm very grateful for the people who kept me in business last year. Um, I took care of a lot of nurses, a lot, a lot. And I'm very grateful for that. And I also took care of some patients who uh, we always assume that there's someone to come home to. Your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your husbands, your wives, your kids, a roommate. But there were quite a few people who came here last year who have no pets, no husbands, no wives, no family. And they, you know that live with them and they were unable to see them. And I'm grateful that um, I wanted to stay open because I knew that no one at Target was gonna try to talk to them or no one at Home Depot was gonna try to talk to them or no one at Costco was gonna try to talk to them because I saw the posts on social media like, get your stuff and leave. Um, and I wanted to be that one place, even if I served one patient a day, even if it was just one patient that whole day, and if you've been in my practice, you know that I see a lot of patients, but even if it was one, two, three, five patients in a whole day compared to what I normally see, um, I wanted to be of service to those people. So um, I just wanted to share this message. I've been really compelled to just share with as many people as possible. I'm using um, social media to do it to remind everyone that um, you might want to consider doing Chinese medicine in your life to help strengthen your immune system, really boost your immune system. You know, acupuncture and Chinese herbs, and I've posted um, Qigong research that really helped with uh, lung issues. You can just go on my website, go to uh, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, go to videos, scroll down, see Qigong research, and you will see some of the information that I posted directly from PubMed. There are thousands of studies, and of those thousands of studies, I think I've posted at least 13, and I did a pretty lengthy video. I think it was an hour and a half on some of those studies. So there you have it. That's me, just a little update at the end of November. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you next week. Um, if you're here in Orange County, please come see me. Um, I'm open uh, every day except Sundays and um, some Wednesdays, but I'm here, but uh, for the most part, I'm not here Wednesdays and Sundays. And I do have modified hours for the next couple of weeks. All right. Take care. Have a great day.